I mean, you really do need swinking in your life. I think you gotta have it. You gotta swink. I made up a word and it sounds so fun. It sounds a little dirty, but it's not. I mean, your hands might get dirty, but uh, swinking is something I accidentally made up in another project. I was ink swiping, and when I was talking, I was my words just, they just fell together. It was like swink. I'm like, ooh, I like that word. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do some swinking. And I actually have my good friend, Ardith. She is gonna do some swinking with me as well. So I can't wait to see what we're gonna do. Swink away. No. So let's just get on. All right, let's get into the swinking. First, let's do negative space swinking. <laughs> I'm using a, uh, this is a stencil and it has the actual masks, which would be the rectangle and the negative space, which is what I'm using right here. And I sprayed the back of it with pixie spray so it would be nice and sticky and I stuck it down to my cardstock and I'm basically just swiping. Now for this small area, I did find using mini ink cubes was easier. You can do it with large ink cubes, but it was just easier for me this way. And these, I only have a few mini ink cubes. I don't have many. And I'm just swinking away. Just hear that. That looks ugly. I know it does. It's about to look even uglier, but don't worry. It's going to come together in the end, I swear. <laughs> so here I am. I took a blending brush and I am just swinking on around the edges to create kind of a shadow around that border. Then I grabbed a black pen and then I'm tracing around the border. That looks even uglier to be honest with you but don't worry here's where it comes into play here I'm taking a little blending brush it's a little circle use a q-tip use your finger use whatever you got use the top of an eraser head from the pencil and just I'm adding little dots which is like bo bokeh or something like that in photography and check this out now this is an old stamp that I have it's long retired but I never will get rid of anything Harry Potter but here's a look at this first background I think it's pretty it turned out great even though it looked pretty ugly didn't it it's all right. I know it did. <laughs> all right. Acrylic block swinking is in the house. This is a rectangle acrylic block. I'm using Catherine Puller inks here. Any inks that you have in your stash will work. Any kind of acrylic block, any shape, whatever. Uh, do use inks that are water reactive, water soluble. Don't use permanent inks because you won't get this effect. I just spritz some water on the block and I am just swinking with a little jiggy action. So I'm doing a little jiggy swinking. <laughs> Let me do it again. So I've got a couple of different colors on here. I'm um, being careful not to take one pad over another, especially if the colors are very dark against a light pad because I don't want to mess up my pad. So do take caution when you're doing that. Wet your block with water and just jiggy swink, jiggy swink. <laughs> Cracking myself up. This is a stamp set that was actually free with purchase from Ellen Hudson. I am hoping that she is going to release this set in the future. I've got a message into her, but for now we're rolling with it. I'm just, this is a rainbow stamp. I'm just doing a little bit of stamp and I'm going to show a little bit of footage of how I put these cards together before we move into the next swinking method that I'm going to be using. And who says you can't have a silhouette rainbow? I am doing some black. I am going to take my embossing pad and ink up. These are like little dots that make a little arch for the rainbow. And I'm gonna ink that up with some embossing ink and go over it with some embossing powder. This powder was not very bright. I thought it was gonna be neon pink. Moving on, it wasn't, but thank God the background is awesome. All right, so here I ended, I chose a yellow one after I did some inking. Now I inked it with some Nocturne black ink. It stays wet longer. It's sort of like a pigment ink, if you will, and it stays wet longer so I can heat emboss with them. And that's what I did there. Heat embossed in yellow, added some washi tape. I'm flicking on a little bit of white paint flicks. I did use a black pen to draw a line to give the border between the washi tape and the card and bada bang, two cards right there. Here's another swinked acrylic, swinked background with a little penguin. I need to finish that out. He needs a little sentiment, maybe a little friend, but uh, isn't it cute? All right, so this is I'm going to create a window box. I don't have a window box at my house. I've always wanted a window box. I see all those houses with window boxes and shutters and cute flowers. Uh, it's just never been in my... <laughs> I've never been able to do it. I never have. Uh, so I'm doing it on a card. So I went ahead and stamped this in black. I'm heat embossing it with some black embossing powder. Something against really, really deep black against these beautiful swinked backgrounds speaks to me. These, This is the window box that I'm inking up with some embossing 
powder, not embossing powder, hello, embossing ink. And then those are the blooms that are gonna go in my window box. I'm gonna ink those up. And then I'm using my Misty stamping tool for perfect placement every time. These blooms are layering as well. So there's a second step I'm gonna do here in just a second. But I'm stamping all this out at one time. Thank you, Misty. I am gonna sprinkle on some embossing powder for the window box. And this is a, I don't know, it's like a mixed media embossing powder line. I don't know, it makes it look like it's a copper aged window box. Whatever, I like it, that's what I'm doing. Now here's the layering stamp, the stamps in all the little leaves and the stems and whatnot, lining it up, easy to line up. You just line it up where the blank space is because <laughs> that's where the image needs to be stamped. And I'm stamping that with some green ink and this is so cute. It's got cording dye, so I'm gonna go ahead off camera. I'm going to cut all these out. I use the Gemini Junior die cutting machine. It's awesome. It cuts like butter and it's automatic so I don't have to crank anything. I'm lazy. Then I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the window box. Now this shutter has a die so you can actually die cut it and open the shutters as well, which I think is pretty clever, but I'm not doing that in this card, uh, but cool, right? Pop those little flowers up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why not? Got to add a little dimension to my swinked background here. And here's a look at this finished card. Bada bang! <laughs> here's all three cards I made with the acrylic swinked backgrounds. I tell you, swinking is the way to go to really bang out some fun backgrounds. I interrupt this video because I've got to quickly talk to you about Skillshare. They are sponsoring my video today. If you follow me, you know I'm a huge fan of the Skillshare platform. I have learned all kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff. I recently got into sewing, so I've been over there trying to figure out how to work my sewing machine. I just got Canva, which is how I am editing all my photographs. I don't know how to use it, so I went to Skillshare, and there was a ton of videos, and that's how I learned Canva. So I've got a link down below for you. The first 1,000 people to click that link will get two months of Skillshare for free, okay? You got nothing to lose. Check it out, see if it's your jam, and let me know. Shadow swinking. So what we're going to do here. This is a watercolored piece I did eons ago. I'm going to add some shading and shadowing around the edges of the card. I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom of the stem there to make it look like dirt. It's like I'm aging this card effortless, effort, effortlessly and beautifully. Here I am adding a little bit of dirt. I'm telling you, Grab yourself a blending tool of some kind. Now I am using blending tools I got off of Amazon. I am gonna throw that up here on the right hand corner if you wanna check that out because mm, they're great. You get a whole bunch of them and they're cheap. Yeah, baby. All right, direct swinking. This is the common practice with ink swiping or swinking. Take your ink pads. I'm using Concord and Ninth right here and just swipe them directly to your cardstock. I wanted to show you side by side comparison. If you were to swipe it with a blending brush, you might like that look better. You can do ink swinking with a brush if you want to. It doesn't always have to be with the pad. And I am going in, it's, it takes more time to do the blending with the brushes because you got to pick up more ink rather than just taking it direct to the the paper but when you're doing it to the paper you're going to get that texture behind from the ink pad and if you're doing it with your blending tool you're most likely not going to so it's really whatever floats your boat here so to the left we've got some texture right here and then this one is more smooth both pretty both swinkable do it Drip swinking, same process, get your ink to your paper. I did it with this direct swinking and then I'm just spraying some water. This is not watercolor cardstock either. You probably should use watercolor cardstock. It'll, uh, watercolor cardstock is obviously built to handle water. <laughs> uh, but here it is, right? It's pretty, I got some drip looks going on here. This stamp is hilarious from Ellen Hudson. I love it and it's so true with all this COVID going on. So this is actually my desk. I wanted to take just a little span and show you my desk. This is what it looks like right now as I'm in my swinking haven. <laughs> Ink pads, backgrounds, the whole shebang. What about stencil swinking? We don't want to forget about that. You can swink right through your stencils. Now when I'm doing this, all of the ink is actually sitting on top of the stencil. So if I was to lift it up, there wouldn't be much there. But I'm taking a microfiber cloth and gently just going in circular motions to just blend that ink right through the stencil. And when I lift it up, look at that, look it, love it. 
But a bonus, don't get rid of that. Just take your stencil, spray it with water, flip it over, and you can stamp with your stencil and get a second print. Boom. <laughs> All right, so this background, I went ahead and stamped one image. This is one image from Penny Black. It's called Snowy Perch, and I stamped it and heat embossed it. And now I'm going to go in and add a little bit of shading because the background's busy. You kind of lose the bird and the, and the log it's sitting on and all that stuff. So I'm using a blender pen and just picking up some ink. That works great, the colors that I used for the background. And I'm adding it to the lid, and I'm picking it up from the lid. I've got a scratch piece of paper to clean off my blender pen when I'm switching between colors. But when I'm done, check it. This is a masterpiece. Work of art, no sentiment needed, the end. Texture swinking. This is some glittered, textured cardstock. I'm going to swink right over the top. I'm doing little, I don't know, ziggy zags. I don't know what you want to call it. But you can add fun little designs. With this particular one, I did have to spray a sealer over it. And the same thing if you wanted to use mirrored cardstock as well. Uh, because it's a slippery surface, the ink doesn't really set. So I sprayed a fixative spray right over the top of it. I'll link it in the supply list for you. And I was able to swink on these not swinkable surfaces. Woo! So did I convince you to give swinking a try? I hope so. If I did, use hashtag swinking challenge in anything that you post so I can see it and Ardith can see it because we want to see if everyone's swinking along with us. I have this video right here. It's all about white pigment ink, but I actually did some swinking in that video before swinking was a word. <laughs> and then check this video because Ardith has made, I think, 16 swinking backgrounds. I mean, it's crazy. 16. So check her video out. We've swinked the day away. And now Calgon is going to take me away because I'm tired. I will see you guys again next week.